Okay, today we are talking about replacing a capacitor on an HVAC condenser. So safety first, always remember to turn the power off and wear PPE. So we'll start by turning the power off to the unit. Now the power is off, we'll go ahead and remove this side cover panel. Capacitor is behind here. There's a capacitor we will be replacing today. The reason why we're replacing this one, it's not leaking, it's not bulging, but the common terminal got melted and hot. It had a bad wire connector last week. I temporarily fixed the wire. I will replace the wire in its entirety after this video. What I'm doing here is shorting out the contactor. So even though the power is off, the capacitor will still store some electricity. Never touch the metal on your screwdriver when you're shorting out the capacitor. Always hold your screwdriver by the insulated handle. Here's a new capacitor. I labeled the, the terminals. C is for common, H is for herm or compressor, F is for fan. So again, C is common, F is fan, H is compressor. And always make sure you verify that the microfarad rating and voltage rating of your capacitor that you're replacing matches the new one. So again, the power is off. We've shorted the capacitor. We'll go ahead and loosen the mounting strap here. A couple ways you can do this. You can either take a picture with your smartphone of the wire connections, or you can remove one wire at a time from the old capacitor and hook up one wire at a time to the new capacitor. That way you ensure you hook the wires up to the proper terminals. So that's how I'll demonstrate it. I'll secure the new capacitor with the strap, and then we'll remove one wire at a time from the old capacitor and hook up the wires one at a time to the new capacitor. Again, make sure common to common, firm to firm, fan to fan. It's a good idea if you're in facilities maintenance, building maintenance. Capacitors are relatively cheap. They're a great thing to replace when you're doing your preventative maintenance on HVAC units. As capacitors age, um, the heat over time can cause them to uh, lose their microfarad rating. So this is a 45.5 well, over the years it may not be putting out 45 uh, microfarad. It might be 38 or 40, where it's just enough to start the compressor, but you may have uh, you know, excessive heat buildup, uh, may cause the compressor to fail prematurely. Replacing a $10 capacitor is a lot less expensive and easier than having to replace a compressor. Uh, same with contactors. Uh, contactors are relatively cheap. Uh, you can inspect the, the points or the contacts inside the contactor, and if they look burnt or pitted, I'd recommend replacing the contactor as well. This contactor is still relatively new. I replaced it just two years ago. So you can see that burnt, melted common terminal. Wow. And make sure your female spade connectors are tight. You see me squeeze them gently with my pliers, my needle nose pliers, because they were a little bit loose. They shouldn't pop off too easy from the terminals. You want them to kind of click on and hold firm, because when the unit is running, uh, there's going to be a little bit of vibration, expansion and contraction possibly with heat. Excuse my big head in the way. <laughs> Again, I'm just inspecting the the connectors, making sure they're tight. This one felt a little bit loose as well. You don't need to pinch them really hard, just really gently. And you put some uh, electric seal or dielectric grease on the terminals. And again, you don't need a whole lot of this, just a small amount will do you. And it helps prevent or reduce corrosion in the future. That was a problem I found with this unit with the wire going to the common terminal. The 
wire connector had corroded and with vibration and heat over time it actually snapped and broke off the wire separated from the connector that's why I'm going to replace that wire so again preventative maintenance will catch those kind of things there we go and I like to write the date on the parts when I replace them here's a closer look at that failed or melted common terminal so you can see that's not safe. Yes, the unit was still running, but again, it's not safe to run it that way. So that's why we replaced it. Another reason to replace a capacitor, it might be bulged, it might be leaking, or if the compressor won't start, you may have a bad capacitor. Remember to put your cover back on. And then we'll turn the power back on and we'll be good to go. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.